Breaking now in South Africa tonight, the recall of tinned fish products has been widened, we understand. The national regulator for compulsory specification has now ordered a national recall of all 400 gram tins of pilchards in both tomato and chili sauce with immediate effect. That story is being followed by reporter Slindelo Masekani. Uh, Sli, uh, good evening to you in our newsroom. So what exactly do we mean or what do we understand by the term widened? Essentially, the brands that have been affected by this Pilchard's recall um, has doubled. Essentially, we were looking at six brands originally, but now following this release of the statement by the National Regulator for Compulsory Specifications that specifically deals uh, with the processed products as well as tinned products, um, says that uh, we're looking at essentially more products that, have, uh, that, that are affected. I, if I can just take you through it, Jeremy, um, we're looking at... The brands such as Deep Catch, Mamas, OK House Brand, Prime Ocean, Spar, Sunny, ShopRite Right Brand, Cape Point, Checkers House Brand, U Brand, Saldana, as well as West Point. The statement further says that the affected products were manufactured um, in 2019 by West Point Processes, uh, which is based in, in Cape Town, and were distribu distributed nationally to various retailers across the country. So basically, this um, media release is stating that it is ordering all formal wholesalers, retailers, as well as informal traders to remove and stop selling the 400 gram pilchards in tomato sauce, um, in chili sauce as well, with immediate effect. What we're still battling to understand, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, is exactly what the product is. Uh, we have this very vague and amorphous term which says the recall has been necessitated because of something called a canning deficiency. What more do we know? Exactly. That, those are the answers we've been trying to get, uh, Jeremy, since Saturday uh, when we broke the story with regards to this Pilchard's recall. We tried to get in contact with the supplier. Uh, they had originally um, uh, agreed to an interview and then, then declined that opportunity. What we know from their statement is that the, the so-called canning deficiency um, does affect the consumption of, that, of, of the fish product. And uh, it's unfit, essentially, for consumption. But what we do know know now from, from speaking to a food scientist um, at the University of South Africa, uh, this might mean that there has been a contamination of this particular product, uh, probably bacteria um, that uh, in the product, product that could result in food poisoning um, and could be fatal as well. Mm. Uh, let, me be, let me say this, is that at the back of all of our minds, of course, was the listeriosis crisis mm -hmm. that uh, we reported on, and that is the reason I'm imagining why uh, this is being dealt with, uh, with such urgency. The challenge, of course, uh, as Lindelo, is uh, for these cans to be removed as quickly as possible from many, many different stores across South Africa. That is going to be difficult logistically. Definitely. What we knew from the statement from West Point um, um, over the weekend was that they were claiming that the bulk of the stock had actually been contained um, in their distribution factory. But uh, we now know that uh, these cans are definitely still on the shelves. Just yesterday, I went into a huge supermarket in the township uh, to just have a look as to whether this, uh, the recall was taking place. And I found several cans with that particular code uh, that is affected. And I actually have to add now now, Jeremy, that the, this latest release also states that there's more codes um, that are affected. We're looking at ZST29 as well as ZSC29 um, in terms of the 400 gram pilchard uh, product. And also we know that, of course, tint products such as tin fish are consumed uh, mostly by low income households um, in townships and far flung areas such as rural areas. And so this message, I think, is going to be quite important that it filters through, which is the complaint from the National Consumer Commission is that the fact that they were not informed means that the processes to uh, um, adequately inform consumers not to consume this product is not going to get, get filtered through adequately. Just very quickly then, um, the, the advice I guess uh, that would be given to consumers is be very careful when you're buying, yeah. uh, but more importantly perhaps uh, look out for bloated tins. 
Definitely. That is something that we've uh, been hearing that uh, is a result of this particular bacteria, that, which is what we're assuming could be happening, um, considering when we, speak, uh, when we spoke to, to, to our ex local expert. Um, so if you are seeing uh, swelling happening in the cans, uh, if you open it and it does not look um, good for consumption, please throw it away or just go back to the store where you purchased it for a refund. All right, uh, Slindele Masakani in the uh, newsroom. Thank you very much indeed.